Henry Fonda and I urge each and every one of you to give generously to the Community Playhouse Building Drive. I know you will, because whatever Omaha wants, Omaha gets and supports. Presented live from the new Omaha Playhouse. And brought to you as a public service by the Omaha National Bank. The bank that has been helping Omaha grow since 1866. Welcome to the hustle and bustle of backstage at the new Omaha Playhouse. In 30 minutes, the curtain is going to go up on the inaugural performance of our new Playhouse, and you're most welcome to attend it. I am Jim Parker, and you've all recognized Elaine Jubetis. Elaine? Thank you, Jim. During the next 30 minutes, we're going to try to bring you the true, spontaneous excitement and glamour of an opening night. And we're going to begin right here backstage. Incidentally, this is a television first. As far as we know, television cameras have never been permitted backstage on an opening night just before curtain time. So it's going to be a very exciting event for us, Jim. Indeed it is. To help to bring you the magic of the feeling of the people back here, we're going to introduce them to you during this crucial moment if they're not too nervous to talk to us. Nervous? Are you suffering from nerves? I've got opening night nerves myself already. Mm -hmm. We're standing, incidentally, in the main floor dressing room corridor. And let's let's go call on some of the actors if, if they're capable of speech. I don't know. Uh -huh. What is this tonight for you? It's the second of a first, isn't it? It's my second Playhouse Theater opening. Yes, that's what fact. I mean. The yeah. second of a first night in a new theater. That's right, yeah. How many shows have you done for the Playhouse? I have lost track, but it's in the 30s. In the 30s? Yeah. Well, what do you do? What's your profession? Oh, I'm an abstractor. An abstractor? Yeah. So many people over here. I don't know who to choose first. Bill Bailey. Oh, great. <laughs> and this is... Bert Gaines. Bert Gaines, what do you do in the show? I, uh, I'm the choreographer, Boris. What do you do in personal life? I'm an uh, interior decorated fortune wheel house. Okay. Glenn Zeesman, thank you all for coming in. We, you can see we have a accumulation of everything here. Housewives, students, uh, career girls, businessmen, professional men. This is what the Playhouse is. And incidentally, right now, our sponsor, the Omaha National Bank, has a few words they'd like to say about that. Then we'll be right back. Thank you, Elaine. Good evening, everyone. The Omaha National Bank is bringing you this behind-the-scenes glimpse of the opening night at the new Omaha Playhouse because it believes the new Playhouse is one more important step in the progress of the city in which we live. A city isn't just buildings. It's not a commerce or educational institutions. It isn't just doctors, lawyers, dentists, churches, schools, nor homes. But it's all of these things welded together by that indispensable ingredient called people. And all of these things are necessary to people to enable them to live, to learn, and to grow in a community. But actually, these are not enough to make a full man, the man who can employ his leisure time to the best advantage. These are never enough to satisfy a man's cravings to, well, to express himself, his need to go beyond the humdrum of everyday living, to see and hear beauty around him. Now, we call the fulfillment of these needs culture. And one of the most significant ways in which these needs are met is through an organization such as the Omaha Playhouse. Here, the lawyer, the doctor, the businessman can try his hand at acting. He can move his stage sets behind the scenes. The housewife can design costumes or stage sets. All of it together adds up to creativity, the expression of a deep human need. When a city recognizes this need and builds an organization like the new Omaha Playhouse to fulfill it, the Omaha National Bank feels that it should be recognized. We salute the many individuals and businesses which have made possible this fine opening night show at the new Omaha Playhouse. I am now cutting the ribbon to the Playhouse, inviting you people and all the other wonderful people of Omaha to the Omaha Playhouse. Here it goes. Thank you. The audience will now enter into the Playhouse. This is Mr. and Mrs. Sorensen. Mr. Sorensen is president of the city council. Mr. Sorensen, what do you think of the board of trustees' decision to change the name of the Omaha Community Playhouse to Omaha Playhouse? Oh, Jim, that's, that's just tremendous because uh, in Omaha today, what we need is a great working together of all the people of the city. And the, the word community uh, would give many people the idea that it's a small group. Whereas, in effect, uh, this new wonderful playhouse is for all of the people of Omaha, for all of them to enjoy. Uh, it's a great gift for everybody. It's wonderful. Omaha's gift to Omaha. That's exactly right. I have 
have two very handsome gentlemen with me, one of our great benefactors and one of the le leaders of our city. This is Mayor Johnny Rosenblatt. Johnny, I'm so glad you can make it tonight. It's so nice to be out on a most wonderful night like this. Isn't Norman. it a, a thrilling experience? It's one of the greatest and finest. This is the most beautiful plant in the country, in my opinion. Isn't it really? It is absolutely the finest playhouse in the country. It has been recognized as such, so we should be very, very proud. And all these wonderful leaders in our city that have worked so hard and all the people that have worked with them, God bless them, because this is, again, Omaha on the march. Isn't it, though? It really is. Mr. Dillon, we are particularly grateful to you because through this man's generosity, by donating the site for our theater, here we are. Now tell me, how do you like having us as neighbors? Well, I think it's very nice, and Mrs. Dillon and myself, we're very happy to do what we could in our small way to bring the playhouse to this area. Oh, you're very and fine. speaking for the townhouse, we certainly think it is a fine addition to our fair city. We feel that the Playhouse will be great neighbors of ours. Thank you very much. Thank As you, you know, Mr. Bob Dillon is the president of the Townhouse Corporation. And do you mind if we act like neighbors and occasionally come over and borrow a cup of sugar? Oh, no, that'll be fine with us. Thank you, sir. Definitely friends of the Playhouse. This is Mr. and Mrs. W. Dale Clark. Mr. Clark is chairman of the board of the Omaha National Bank. Did you have a nice dinner, Mrs. Clark? Wonderful dinner, thank you. You understand, first the festivities included a dinner tonight, and then the play. And we're so happy to have you with us, sir. So glad to be here. I have a very special question to ask you, because I think you are especially qualified to answer this, Mr. Clark. What do you feel the Playhouse can do for people in throughout the state of Nebraska, and perhaps Iowa, too, uh, outside of the city of Omaha? Well, I think it will do for them just what it does for everybody. It entertains and stimulates and inspires and instructs and everything else as well as entertainment. To you, sir. Uh, thank you for sitting down. <laughs> that helps tonight, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Ken Wilson has been with us. This is his 15th season. And how many plays have you directed all together? 80 uh, some, I mean. About 85. About yeah. 85. The theater has been his life. He has given everything to it and given so much to individuals. And I, for example, if I have never thanked you for some of the things you've taught me, I thank you now. <laughs> thank you. I know that a lot of the people that uh, Ken has known have treated him not only as a director, but as a friend and as a brother, and he's been father confessor to so many and done so much for so many people. After working for so many years towards the dream, you can imagine what tonight could mean to him. And I would like, if you will forgive us for being a little bit sentimental tonight, we can't help it, I would like you to tell everyone, Ken, what tonight means to you. Well, tonight, of course, is the biggest thrill of a lifetime. There's birth, there's marriage, there is success in a career, and when you see it in brick and mortar and beautiful paintings and lighting equipment, and know that this has been brought about through the hard work of so many different people, particularly the architect who donated the first three years of designs in order to convince people that something could be done. That was F. Marion T. Mulberry, the few members of the board, Clarence Steele particularly, who worked and urged on the initial project. This is 10, 12 years ago. And then when Coop Smith and Zach Warren grabbed hold and started the fundraising, it's a thrill. Then to know that 1,600 people contributed money, we've got something great. We really have. We have the finest playhouse here in the country. In the country, I know. yes. And it has uh, received a national reputation and thanks to Kendrick Wilson and a great deal of the way. I want to say to you now, that if you have never been to a community playhouse production, it's Omaha Playhouse now, I've got to remember that, this is a good time to come out and get acquainted with it. Tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday is open house here from 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. in the evening. Come on out and bring the family and look us over and then come back often and enjoy the production. While you are here, you can buy tickets to Say Darling. We hope that you will bring everyone out to see it because it's a wonderful production. We think everyone in the, in the city and surrounding area should come to see it. The formal dress is only tonight. Yes, we want you to know that, that this is formal dress only tonight because it's a special opening. But from now on, you do not dress. You just come in your street clothes and enjoy the informality of our playhouse. Remember, this is your playhouse, Omaha's gift to Omaha, and we want you to enjoy it. Well, Kendrick, when a play opens on Broadway, it is a culmination of weeks of rehearsal and promise of a hit. But when this play opens here tonight, it's the culmination of maybe 30 years of planning and the promise of many hits. And thank you so much thank for being with us tonight. And good luck to you. The future looks bright. And good night to all of you. And now, here is Jim Harker. Thank you, Elaine.
Uh, right now, we've got... Oh, here's Maxine. Maxine, uh, I know I'm, you're just about to take your place. I'm terribly sorry. This is very unfair in the theater. Disturb a person's concentration before a performance. How do you feel? Yes, I'm excited. Of course. <laughs> really good luck, excited. Good luck, I don't want to keep it. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Good luck. There's this wonderful hush. People tiptoeing around very gently. They may cut between us. Good luck, Don. Good luck to you, Warren. Good luck, Helen. All these people taking their places. The curtain is about to go up. So I say good night as they go on with the show. We wish to thank the Omaha Playhouse inaugural festivities committee for their cooperation in making this telecast possible. This has been a live remote telecast from KMTV Channel 3.